55 Quail Lane. This is in the Timberland neighborhood. So let me back up. That car there is parked in a little pad that's for this house. And the rest of it is this driveway area. Uh, you can see the pavement ends. They've got some dirt there. And they've got uh, a little drainage, French drain dude right there by the front of the house. Super cute little A-frame here. We're in the very back of the neighborhood, so it's a really peaceful, quiet setting. I love this little shed. I don't know if shed's the right word, but storage area. All right, so you walk in, got washer dryer here, and a bathroom. Short tub shower, that's probably four feet, I'm guessing. Concrete countertop here. We've got storage here under these benches. And then kitchen sink here. Let's give you a better overall look here. More of the concrete countertop in this kitchen. Very, very cool window there. Love that. Really nice, nicely done in here. It definitely had some good style. And I, you know, I, and as I say that, I think, you know, this wouldn't appeal to everybody, but um, for those who like this clean, slightly modern style, this is very cool. Look at that. And then you juxtapose it with this gingerbread type trim on the outside of the house. Very cool. So this room has quite a bit of space. It's got a pellet stove in the left corner. If you're not familiar with those, let me know. I can get you up to speed. Nice little living area here. And then a deck. This is east facing with maybe a little bit of south exp southern exposure in it. So yeah, and it's in nice condition. Nice sky view here. There's a big old sugar pine tree with those big pine cones right there. And then you may have seen this trap door and you're wondering what it is. Well, down here there's a ton of storage. There's you know, that wine rack there. And then off to this side, there's a big storage room and another one to the left. And I wouldn't say they're um, taller than six feet. So I'm 5'10", I have, to, I have to duck down there. Okay, so then here's the half bath. Sorry about that. Half bath here. People do work with these structures a bit sometimes and they add dormers to pop out the sides, which then give you more space to put in actual bigger bathrooms. Kind of a strange bed here for this room. Honestly, it's a little big. As you can see there's a door there and a little deck which faces you know, the entrance to the house. So this is bedroom number one. And here's bedroom number two. 